Hello! Oh, oh crap, double hand there, jazz hand. Anyway, hello um, and welcome to my new look autumn mini haul. And it underlines the word mini <laughs> because it literally only uh, entails four items. Um, but I wanted to include them because I feel like the four corker cracking Maleficent, no. Ignore me. Four really good items from New Look that are out in the minute for the autumn. So I thought I'd do it. My New Look Autumn Haul, which, not New Look. Oh my god, this is not my day. My Primark Autumn Haul that I did did really, really well. Um, and it got over a thousand views, which is really, really good for me. And I'm really, really, really pleased with it. So thank you very much if you watched that and you've come over from that video. That is brilliant. So anyway, let's get on with it. I've done, basically I bought these four New Look items when I purchased all the Primark stuff, if you watch my Primark photos and haul. Um, like I've just said, um, I think they're four really good items and I think they're worth buying. Also, um, worth mentioning, I am what, what society likes to state as a plus size uh, person so I wear size 16 to 18 on a whole usually um, so yes let's get into it so the first item that I bought was this I don't know if you can see it very well but it's basically one of the, it's like a crop top it's a lacy one of those like oversized like shirts um, I have got one of these in blue that I had in the summer in like a pastel blue um, so I saw this and I was like, oh, that's nice. I like wearing white lace in the winter. Not in the winter, in the autumn. I think it looks nice with that autumn colours. So, yeah, it's just really cute. I got it in a size 18 because that's the size that I got my blue one in. Um, I think I've, I'm sure I tried it on. Um, but anyway, I'm, you'll see me trying it on right now. Um, I got it in a size 18 and it was £17.99p. So basically 18 quid. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Um think it goes really well for in the day it's quite casual but it's quite fashionable and stylish it's not really really casual and it kind of jazzes up a bit of an, an outfit basically so oh and I really like these buttons that they're brown I feel like it makes it look a bit more a bit more luxury than new look because yeah I mean new looks more luxury than Primark but it's still very high street isn't it um so I thought it made it look a bit more yeah, I just like it. I think it's nice. So that's that. That's the first item. Lacy, white, oversized, cropped shirt. So the second top that I got was this. I got this grey. It's like a ribbed long sleeve. I'm going to say jumper. It's definitely not a t-shirt. Like on the inside it's cotton. But on the outside it's got these like the the rear the like the ribbed bit is partially cotton like the inside ridge is cotton and the outside bumpy line part <laughs> brilliant descriptions here is like furry um i've not described it when i say furry it's not mega furry it's just when you actually feel it it's a bit furry um yeah so it's long season it's got this like twist front at the front which i think is quite flattering um for anybody really, not just bigger people, smaller people as well. So yeah, I just thought that would be great for, you know, with a pair of jeans. I think that would look super cosy and feel super cosy when it's really cold. I haven't worn it yet because I know that I'll get roast in it because I get hot really easily. Um, and I know that I'd get hot in it. But yeah, so I bought it in a 16, so it's actually quite big. And it was £12.99, so basically £13 because New Look, love putting 99p on the end of everything to make you think it's pound cheaper than it actually is, basically. But yeah, that's that. The twist front, long-sleeved, grey sweater, jumper, top. Okay, so my third item and my second to last item. Oh, sorry, I'm just looking at... Don't you love it when? So the house over the road from me is currently having an extension and they've got a skip on the road. And it's like... So many people walk down the road and literally just like go up into this skip and try and nick things. Like, why do they do that? Anyway, back to the haul. 
Um, my third item that I've got, um, and the second to last item, is very, very autumnal. It is a mustard yellow pinafore dress. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's got pockets. I mean, you're winning if you're wearing a skirt or a dress that's got pockets. I mean, you're literally winning at life. Ooh. So, yeah, it's this mustard yellow um, pinafore. It's got these brown, creamy, plasticky hoops here. And it's in a, a crepe material. It's thick. It's not thin, but it's got the crepe. Is it crepe? Yeah, crepe look on the outside um, of the material. And it's really pretty. And I think because of the crepe material on the outside, again, it makes it look a bit more expensive than it is. Um, I got this in a size 18 and it was 19 99 so basically 20 quid. Um, and yeah, it was really, really nice. I really liked it on as well when I tried it on. I, I remember, I do remember trying this on. Um, I just thought that looked nice over the top of like white t-shirt or a long sleeve white or cream top or... I don't know. Yeah, I just thought, and oh, imagine it with a really chunky knit cardigan and tights. I am very much in the winter, love wearing skirts and tights with up boots and furry boots and whatnot. Love wearing skirts in the winter. I don't really wear skirts in the summer, but winter, I love them. Yeah. Love that. And last but not least, I saw this dress in New Look and I was like, oh my god, that is really, really nice. I love the print. I, I love this print. I've always had this print from being a kid on any type of clothing, whether it be a top or a skirt or a dress. Um, and the style of it is basically like 1950s wartime style, what what women would have worn. Worn? What would have... Would have worn? Yeah, would have worn in the 1950s um, around wartime. And basically, it reminded me of my nana, uh, my mum's mum um, and my nana. Passed away when I was 11, um, but so I was still a child when she passed away. But all she wore was these style dresses, and it really reminded me of her. And I really liked the pattern. And I was like, you know what? Let's try that on. And I tried it on, and I really liked it. So <laughs> I'm just giving you a big thing here, and you've not actually seen it. This is it. So it is white with black polka dots, and like it, like I said, it's like you know. One of these 1950s style like kind of wrap across dresses with black buttons that like double buttons that go all the way down and it's, it's really long it goes to like just below the knee i think i think it went to just below the knee on me i'm quite tall i'm five foot eight um so on me i mean you'll see now in the clip i can't remember um but i'm sure it went to just below the knee it's pretty long um and it's just really nice. It's quite thin material. It's again, it's like that crepey material, um, like a blouse type material. Um, but quite, it feels quite breathable though, not like the sweaty blouse material. <laughs> and yeah, it's got really thick. Um, is it called a collar? It's quite thick. The collar, collar part. Um, it's just really, really nice. It's super nice and really worth the money. I got it in a size 16 and it was 30, well, it was 29 99 so it was 30 quid, which is, for me, to spend £30 on one item of clothing is quite a lot, but I did think to myself, you know what, that's super nice and it would be nice for like meals and things like that. So, yeah, I bought that and I really, really, really liked it. So that is well worth the money. Did I'm sure they had some in different designs as well. I'm sure they did. Um, yeah. So that basically concludes my mini new look haul. I told you it was definitely a mini haul, it wasn't a big one. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of these items as well in the comments, that would be great. Um, and if you've seen anything as well in new look, maybe like leave links below, like I'm all up for buying more clothes basically. Um, yeah, and I don't know what I was going to say, but yeah. Thumbs it up. Subscribe if you want to see more hauls. I will do more hauls. Someone, a few people have asked me if I'm going to do monthly Primark hauls. I think I'm going to. Um, providing that there is enough change in Primark at the end. You know, because I did beginning of September. So I did a September haul. If I go in at the beginning of October and there's not much more, then, you know, I might not do one. I might skip a month. But I will try and do more Primark hauls because people want to see them. People want to see them. And I'm quite fortunate that I live near 
quite a few big Primarchs, so yeah. Anyway, I will thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video.